George Floyd was not the first victim of excessive force. Too many other people of color have been harassed, harmed, injured, or killed. Added together, their lives and their stories have made this spotlight too bright to ignore. For black people, the past several weeks have again ripped open scars created by generations of historical trauma. Too often that trauma was inflicted by a criminal justice system that should protect them but instead treats them unfairly. Data shows that nationwide, communities of color are disproportionately affected at all stages of the criminal justice system. Black adults are almost six times more likely to be incarcerated than white adults. And black men are two and a half times more likely to be killed by law enforcement. Hispanic adults are three times more likely to be incarcerated than white adults. When convicted of the same crime, black men receive a prison sentence that is 20% longer than white men. Black women are in prison at twice the rate as white women and are one and a half times more likely to be killed by law enforcement. These numbers are stark and they tell a story that black Americans have been living and telling us every day, even when there is no spotlight. Today I signed executive order number 145 to establish the North Carolina Task Force for Racial Equity and Criminal Justice. It will be led by North Carolina Supreme Court Associate Justice Anita Earls and Attorney General Josh Stein. This task force is charged with developing and helping to implement evidence-based strategies and policy solutions to help eliminate systemic racism in our criminal justice system. Now, I know a lot of the issues the task force will tackle have been researched and studied. But part of the job of the task force will be tailoring these ideas to North Carolina and developing a strategy on how to get these proposals implemented. Law enforcement officers have a tough job, and I'm grateful for so many of them who are doing their best to protect and serve with fairness. Many of them now are telling me and recognizing and acknowledging that systemic and cultural changes must be made. 